Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Because my last couple of videos on high street hauls, I recently did a Topshop one, a Next one, and also one on the autumn trends from the high street. I'll leave them all linked down below, but they've been really popular, so I kind of thought I might start a new series and it can be my high street haul series. So, like you probably guess, I'm going to shop at a different high street store for each of the videos in these series and then I'm going to show you the items I've bought. I will buy items from the new in section, new in season with autumn and winter in mind and then can kind of get a feel of who's maybe the champion on the high street for prices, for quality, for things that you must have for autumn and winter. It could be a great way for myself to build up my capsule wardrobe for the next season because there's a lot of high street stores I have not shopped at for a while. On my last video, someone very kindly asked if I would do a River Island haul. So here we are, I'm really sorry, off the top of my head, I can't remember the account name, but I will leave the message here on the screen and I will link your channel below if there is one. So thank you for that comment. So I went online on River Island and I spent £400, a lot more than I wanted to spend, but there was actually a lot of new in things that I was really drawn to, which surprised me because I've not shopped at River Island for quite a while because for a bit I thought the items were overpriced and maybe not that great quality or they were just a little bit more tacky is not the word but you know compared to Topshop and my other favourite high street retailers so we've got a River Island haul any suggestions on the next haul you want me to do I was thinking maybe Miss Selfridge not shopped at them in a long time as well so do leave that in the comment below and if you like the idea of a high street haul series give this video a thumbs up but let's get cracking with today's items item number one is a jumper this is 42 pounds i'm a uk 10 i picked it up in a medium because i prefer knitwear slightly oversized um, i just loved all the detailing on this jumper it's like a fisherman knit jumper we've got a really popular yellow mustard color which is going to be big for autumn winter with a monochromatic palette of gray whitey cream and black but i just love this lace-up detailing i mean we've got a little bit downside here and there's also one on the opposite side of the arm so there's so much going on with this jumper i thought it'd be a great layering piece a great statement 42 pound is a bit on the more expensive scale for knitwear from the high street but it does look like it could be a designer piece so i'm really pleased with this yeah i'm pretty much obsessed with this jumper we've got like i said the tie detailing down this one arm I think it's all white at the back tiny bit of step hem gorgeous colors i'm obsessed with these colors and then we've got some more detailing there so there is so much going on with this jumper i think it looks so expensive and it's actually really comfortable and really cozy a girl can never have too many black t-shirts and this is a black t-shirt 26 pound looks pretty standard from the top but if we go down to the bottom you will see we've got some tool detailing my face is going crazy because this is dark but it's a little bit of asymmetric hem that bit's lower than the other all will be revealed when i try it on properly but it's a long comfy t-shirt i thought it'd be great for a casual outfit on skinny jeans because i don't like showing my bum or if you wanted like to glam it up with a pair of leather trousers or it's just a really good staple piece for day wear or evening wear and it's got the new season trends having a little bit of sheer detailing on the bottom this is the black t-shirt with the tool at the bottom i actually think it's really cute and um, this detailing here it feels really soft really sheer so it doesn't feel rough and cheap i love at the back how like i said it covers your bum so it's great for skinny trousers if you like to keep that covered and it actually feels really super soft i've been wanting a white skirt for the new season obviously midi skirt because I'm obsessed with them at the moment but a white palette is going to be popular on the catwalks there's quite a few head to toe white looks which is something you would normally see in summer but it's coming for autumn winter so maybe keep your summer whites out in your wardrobes and it is a gorgeous long midi skirt a bit like an a-line shape because it flares out but I don't know if you can see we've got a short skirt in the middle and a long overskirt so you flash a little bit of leg but it's still sophisticated classy it's high-waisted so it nips you in at the waist and i don't know if i mentioned the price on this already but that was 32 pounds and i don't think that's bad at all again it looks a bit more high-end it looks like something you would buy from whistles looks nice and structured 
So my little assistant Brody has joined me to show you the clothes, but this is the white skirt on. Like I said, it's high waisted, so it actually feels really comfortable around the waist. I mean, I'm not sure about how see-through might be at the back. Excuse the underwear if you can see it and the cellulite, but it seems like it's ruching, well not ruching, like lumping out a little bit at the sides. So I don't know if it's the most flattering on me, but it does feel so comfortable. So maybe if I iron that down a little bit, put some spanks on, it might be all right. Moving on to denim. I have not bought denim from River Island for a long time. So I just went for a light wash pair because I'm loving light wash denim, even for autumn winter. And it is a straight leg pair with some raw hem detailing here, a little bit cropped. They are called the Bellet Straight Leg Jean. I got a 10 regular. I am about 5'8", five 5'9", five so I maybe should buy the, you know, the taller version, but I prefer my jeans a little bit cropped anyway, so I always go for regular. And these were £40. Not sure if I'm digging those for £40, because you can buy jeans for cheaper elsewhere, but I won't be biased. I will give them a go. Disappointingly, I can't fasten these jeans because the button... It's too big for the hole. So even with struggling, it's not going in. But apart from that, they actually fit quite snug. They feel like quite thick denim. So they feel quite nice. I will do like a pan down so you can see what they look like. But obviously, I don't really want to try and make the hole bigger myself in case I really need them more. So these jeans are a big thumbs down from me. Now for my favourite piece of clothing from this haul and this online shop. If you saw my trends video, you will see there was a beautiful ASOS jacket. This one here, I will leave my blog post with a link below. And I said that sheer link is going to be a big trend. So obviously I had to get this one as well. I'm gonna have two now, but who cares? It is this gorgeous, oh, amazing sheer link, kind of like a boyfriend trucker jacket, like you get your denim jackets. I got a medium, so it's a little bit oversized. And we've got the sheer link all the way round. Basically, you're going to look like a giant Sean the Sheep, but this was £60, so £60 is outerwear. It does actually feel really soft on the inside as well. It's got bow suede on the inside, but it's not itchy or anything. It doesn't feel like it's going to molt, and just obsessed with these types of jackets, so going to love trying that one on. So this is the amazing jacket on. I'm in love with the oversized detailing. I'm just in love with everything about this jacket. And even though it says River Island on the buttons, I don't think like it's too River Island looks happy with the River Island on the button, if I'm making any sense there. It's really nice length. So like I said, covers your bum. It feels really lightweight. So it's a really thin layer, but also feels like it would be really warm. So a transitional piece and also something you can layer up in the new season. We've also got some pockets in it and I am obsessed. So hopefully you love this as much as I do. But for anybody who is a religious ASOS shopper, I think that jacket's on ASOS anyway. So I will leave links down below for all of these items, UK links, US links, and links on ASOS, anywhere else they sell them in case they go out of stock on River Island's site. But I also saw this jacket on ASOS, pretty similar, I know. It's from the men's section, it was 45 pounds, and it does feel a little bit itchy on the inside though when I wear it, but I couldn't decide between the two, so I'll try this one on as well. It's an alternative for anybody. And let me know which of the two jackets you prefer and which I should keep out of the two shilling jackets. For reference, this is the ASOS jacket. So, it's a little bit more bulky than the other one. Still really like it though. It was also a little bit shorter cut as well. I might not even be able to fasten up the bottom button. I'm not sure, but that's the second one. So yeah, jacket number one or jacket number two. Do let me know which you prefer. This is exactly the same with pockets, the same type of style. It's a little bit thicker though, so it might be a little bit warmer and it's slightly more cream rather than white. So they're the two jackets. Again, they'll both be linked below. I was gonna say moving on to footwear, completely forgot I'm already wearing one of the pieces. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you it. It is this black polka dot print top with buttons all down the front. And then we've got like a frill hem at the bottom and then the sleeves, a little bit cropped and a frill hem. For me, this is total reformation vibes. Absolutely love it. It's a bit similar to the pink top that was in my Topshop haul. I'm loving polka dots. I'm dotting over polka dots. So 
just had to pick this up as well and it's £30 so I think that is really affordable but again there's quite a lot of high-end and designer injected into high street styles at the moment and I just think the high street is killing it so River Island I'm actually really impressed with the items that I picked up. While I'm talking about what I'm wearing actually these earrings are also from my Topshop haul they're the little eye earrings so I'll leave my outfit description here linked down below for you as well. Moving on to footwear and the first pair is a size 9, River Island now stock size 9. Hallelujah, I've basically gone on about this in a couple of videos that the high street seems to be getting smaller in their shoe sizes which is maybe why you can now buy a size 9 because I do not fit in size 8 anymore that much. It's a bit of a squeeze but size 9s are always limited, it's like Topshop, they either stock less of them or there's a lot of people like me who struggle with big feet. So one pair of shoes I managed to get in a size 9, the other two are size 8 because the size 9s were already sold out unfortunately. So I'm going to start with the size 9s first because they'll probably be the only ones that fit me. Oh actually, might as well add this in there, if you want to hear me have more of a rant about trying to accommodate big feet into high street shoes. I did a recent video on my high-end footwear collection, why I buy high-end footwear, mainly because I fit into them, and also how I get discounts on them. So I'll leave that linked on the screen and also in the description bar, but onto the first pair of shoes. They are called Honey. They are a pair of gorgeous black leather sock boots. We've got a zip up on the inside, got a bit of an almond toe going on, and the heel is a very sensible height block heel for day wear, and they are £60 real leather, so I think that's a really good price for real leather. They do feel really nice and soft. They remind me a lot of the Topshop sock boots, which everybody loves, and I think they'll be a perfect everyday boot. Hopefully they'll be comfortable, and yeah, I think I would pretty much gonna love these, and I will get a lot of wear out of these. They'll be a great staple boot for all day and even evening wear so we'll see how I get on with those ones. I just knew straight away that these sock boots would be a really good fit, they'd be super comfortable and I would love them. So this is what the sock boots look like on, they're like a midi ankle calf boot, they're a little bit higher than ankle boot but they just feel so comfortable. The leather feels really soft, uncomfortable already, like it will give quite nicely, it'll wear quite nicely, they're not rubbing against my ankles. They've got that manageable heel height and I just think they would go with so many items so I'm really really impressed with these boots and definitely think I will have to keep these. Next I absolutely adore these boots I'm going to show you. Got a size 8, I don't think they're going to fit so I'm going to be gutted so River Island can you stop more size 9s please I'm literally going to have to go around all the stores near me if these don't fit to hunt these down and it is these boots here. They are called the Cute Boots and they are pretty cute and they are very military inspired. I don't know if you've seen some new Louis Vuitton boots. Lydia Elise Millen has got a pair and oh my god, desperately want a pair but I'm not going to splurge on a pair of those. So I thought these were a great alternative. This is the Louis Vuitton pair, very army inspired. We have got like a really chunky sole. I don't know if that's cleated. Maybe that, I don't know where cleat that word has just popped into my head. But we've got a thick block heel as well. It's higher than the other boots, but it's going to be pretty easy to walk in. Real leather again, square toe. Oh, so much love for these boots. I need these boots. But these are £75, so a little bit more expensive. But, I mean, when you compare that to the price of a pair of Louis Vuitton boots, you are on to a winner. As I thought, there is literally no chance my foot is even going to wiggle into these boots. So... Although I love you, it's a big thumbs down on sizing from River Island. It's a little test. Yeah, my feet would just fit, but they don't have zips or anything, so can't get in them. Then the final pair of shoes are this gorgeous pair here. I'm getting Aquazora vibes from these, the Aquazora pom-pom shoes and also the ones with the tassel. So we've got a red faux suede, the detailing on the front here, and also a wrap around. And I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're not real suede though, and I've just clocked the price. £55. £55 and not real suede. I would probably just go to Public Design instead, but a pair of similar shoes. But they are really pretty. I'm just really disappointed in the price of these for the materials that they're made from. Although this pair do just fit, I can actually get my feet into them. 
like I said, for the price at £55. I don't know if I would be inclined to keep them, but they are very aquasaur and they do look really cute, really fun, really colourful. Like I said, perhaps a bit tight, the size 9 would be better for me. So if you're at the higher end of your shoe size, maybe size up, might be a bit more comfortable, but that's what the red shoes look like on. Just a shame they're so expensive for what they are. So that's everything I picked up from River Island. Like I said, all of these items came to around £400. Now I'm not going to keep the jeans, can't keep the boots because they don't fit me and I'm not paying £55 for a pair of faux suede shoes when I can get them cheaper elsewhere. So that's going to give me a good £150 back anyway. So £250 for the jumper, shearling jacket, white skirt, this top and the black t-shirt and also some real leather boots so I think that is real good going for £250. Really impressed with the majority of the items from River Island and hopefully you've enjoyed my haul video. Let me know if you're keen on this High Street haul video series and also any High Street shops you want me to shop the new in sections at, anything like that. Always welcome any suggestions. Hi to a lot of new subscribers. I'm literally like, oh my god, there is 5,000 of you guys. Literally mind blown. So thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Before I forget to say, there was 25% off at River Island. A little bit annoyed because I missed out on that train but I saw the L magazine in Tesco and you get that 25% off card. So if you are interested in any of these items, I would recommend if that magazine is still out, buy one of those first, get yourself 25% off. And yeah, again, links below, US, UK, and any other sites that sell these items. If they go out of stock on River Island, I've blabbed again too much, but yeah, love you all. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next one.